Want to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 but you own a PC with unsupported hardware or your PC doesn't meet minimum requirements to run Windows 11, then this video is dedicated to you. In this video, I'm going to share a quick trick using which you can upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. As of creating this video, Windows 11 2.2 H2 October 2023 update is available. So I will show you how to upgrade your PC running Windows 10 to that version of Windows 11. So let's start the process. You can clearly see that my PC is running Windows 10 2.2 H2. And if I run the setup to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, it throws error message that is this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements with list of possible reasons which includes the system disk need to be 64 GB or large, the PC must support EPM 2.0, there must be at least 4 GB of system memory. And if you landed on this video then it's highly possible that you are seeing the same error message, right? Don't worry, let's bypass this. First of all, close the setup. After that, open File Explorer, then open Windows Installation Drive, that is a C drive usually. Inside it, create a new folder and name it Windows 11 or Win 11 or something similar. I will name it Windows 11. After that, locate the ISO file of Windows 11 that you have downloaded from Microsoft website or using Media Creation Tool. Double click on it to mount the ISO image. Now open the drive assigned to ISO file, select all the files, copy them and then paste them into Windows 11 folder that you have created in previous step. Once all the files are copied into Windows 11 folder, you need to open command prompt with admin rights. For that, click on the search icon and type cmd. When command prompt appear in the search results, click run as administrator. When USC dialog box appear, click yes to continue. In the command prompt window, you need to execute this command. But before that, we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to the channel so we continue making such content. Alright, so this is the command you need to type. You need to keep in mind that if you have named the folder other than Windows 11 or Win 11, then you need to replace Windows 11 with that in this command. After that, hit enter. This will run the Windows 11 setup file automatically. Now you will see a message install windows server instead of install windows 11. Don't worry, this is not going to install windows server and will install the windows 11. Now click on the next button and follow on screen instructions. On this screen, make sure keep file settings and apps option is selected and then click on the next button. Now setup will prepare PC for the installation. On this screen, you will get information about the edition and file settings. My PC runs Windows 10 Pro Edition, so it's upgrading to Windows 11 Pro Edition. So whatever edition of Windows 10 your PC is running, it will be upgraded to that edition of Windows 11. Here, click on the next button. This will start the installation process. The process will take around 30 to 40 minutes. During that time period, your PC will start several times.
Once the installation and upgrade process completes, you will be presented with Windows 11 lock screen. Enter the PIN or password to log in. You need to use the same credentials you were using in Windows 10. Now system will start setting up Windows 11. Again it will take few minutes. Once done, you will reach the Windows 11 home screen and this confirms that you have successfully upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11 on PC with unsupported hardware. You can clearly see that on about your PC setting page that my PC is running only 2 GB of RAM. Regarding information about addition, it's Windows 11 Pro and its version is 22H2. Although this method helps in upgrading to Windows 11 on PC with unsupported hardware, you need to keep in mind that you might experience various issues as you have installed Windows 11 forcefully. So that's all about this video. If you have any query related to this video, then feel free to ask via comments. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.